So in this super quick video, I wanted to cover just a couple of questions I got about my video where I deployed corporate apps to an iOS device via Intune being managed by a configuration manager. And it was really around, well, I demonstrated Outlook, Word, and PowerPoint, i.e. Microsoft apps. You can absolutely do other applications as well. I just did those corporate apps because they're very common corporate apps and they're very good to show corporate data flow from a corporate email to corporate Word through OneDrive for Business. But absolutely, I can use any application I want. For example, over here, you can see I've got the Destiny Companion app. This is not a Microsoft app. It's also not really a corporate app at all, but it doesn't matter. It's anything. So I can just do add. I've already got the iOS one in here. But I might say, well, I want to add in an Android app. And I've got up here the URL for the Destiny Companion app over here. So I would just type in that URL. And it's now added that in. Now I could give more detail for that. So maybe I would say Destiny for Android. And close. So now I've added that to it as well. So it's not Microsoft specific, it's really any type of application you want. And the experience on the device actually is very similar. So yes, any type of application I want from the store, they could be linked from my own binaries that I've uploaded. And it works the same on iOS and Android. So in this demonstration, I'll actually just show that same experience, the same locking of the data, but this time on Android. So here I am on my Android device. You can see I have the same company portal available to me. I've got the Outlook, I've got the Word. So if, again, if I open up that Outlook, I've got that same email from last time. There it is. I can only open it with Word. So even though this is an Android device and it's got Google Docs on it, it's not going to let me open it. It's locking it down to only my corporate apps. It's not letting me save it because I blocked the save as. And that same clipboard restriction would apply as well. So it's going to open it in Word. It's telling me it's protected by my company. Sure, I'll allow it to access that stuff. And if I took data from this, I would be unable to paste this into a personal document. So I'll scroll around. Let's select a piece, copy that to my clipboard. So from here, let's say I do go and look at other applications. And I'm really not an Android person at all. So here if I try and find Google Docs, there we go. I'll create a new document. If I hold down here and do paste, nothing. It won't let me paste into a non-corporate app. If, however, I go back to my Outlook, and then here, I'll actually go ahead and create a new email. See, I'm creating a new email. And if I scroll down, do paste, there's that text. So the clipboard worked within my corporate apps, but it wouldn't work from a corporate to a personal. If I go back to my company portal, so I'm going to have to sign in again. So if I go and look at my all apps, you can see I have Office Professional, PowerPoint. If this refreshed, it would actually see that I also added in the Destiny application. So I refreshed this, and now you can actually see I've got the Destiny Companion app in here, just showing that, hey, yep, I can do other stuff as well. I don't only have to do Microsoft apps. I can really do anything I want through this. I just happened to use the Microsoft apps because it was a neat example. So I hope that cleared that up. 
hopefully you can see I get that same protection of corporate data on Android and iOS and Windows Phone and all those other platforms and it works across any type of vendor's application. Thank you very much.